At the beginning, when you said that the devil was cast out of heaven, you said that one third of the angels went with him. How do we know that number, and does that represent anything? Because the Bible says that. <laughs> if the Bible said that, then it's true. I mean, we don't imagine. It's written. You could read it, and uh, we know that the demons are so many. And each one with a certain speciality. And each one is very committed to get you home. But every one of you have the Holy Spirit inside him or her. And has his guardian angel. And the divine grace of God around you. And a father of confession who is guiding you. Even if they are, you know... They could continue to have a war against you for even up to 40 years. For zero. As it happens with monks sometimes. Of course, we will not be able to continue all the time. Something for you just to, to have hope. Any sin, any sin which we commit. You can't compare that sin, which is like a drop in the ocean of the love and forgiveness of Christ. If you put a drop of ink in the ocean, is it going to show after half an hour that there's ink? No. All what he wants from us, come to me. Come to me, O weary, who are laden by so many worries and pains, and going to comfort you. Anyone who is living a life of impurity, a life full of sin, God will not ask you in the day of judgment. Why? You did commit that. Or how did you commit that? We'll never ask you this. But he will ask you, my love, why you did not repent? Did you see a master? Did you see God? was much more compassion than him. He will not remind you of your sins, but he will remind you by your repentance. The door of repentance is opened for everybody. Let the demons be one half of the hosts. I don't mind. I mind that my Savior is opening his arms towards me and is telling me, Whatever you have done, just come and repent, and they will cleanse you. This is his open arm policy for every one of us. Any other question? I guess we'll go from front to back. Um, so we know that the devil, like when he sees us following God and like especially in the church, he's always fighting us even harder when, we, when he sees that we're following this commandment or we're following Christ. So what are some things that we can do to fight even harder so that we don't fall back into what we're doing before? Because obviously the devil hates to see us going in the right way. We are still young in our strive to live pure we are still young but as long as we are striving supported by his grace one day what you are talking about will be a history continue striving continue striving continue getting hold of your Lord Jesus Christ and tell him I'm sorry I'm sorry again. You will commit sin 
for sure. Because our spiritual status now is not as the saints who became so sensitive and they know the tactics more than us and before the beginning of getting into the sin they are tempted but they have the experience and they have their prayers always and the word of God is filling them and the intimate relationship with the Savior, the heavenly bridegroom, is so much. So you become so sensitive. If you are used to always smell perfumes, if somebody will get you something which is stinky, even 10 meters away, you will turn your head away because you can't tolerate it. Sin smells bad. And the more we are into the aroma of Christ, the more you will smell it from far away. But till we will be so involved in his love, so his aroma will cover us from head to toe. And our senses would be so filled with him. It would be so hard to smell that smell, that stinky best smell from far away. Or he would change his tactics. And many saints fall every day. But They rise up directly and tell him, we sinned. Jesus, through our saints, fathers, early fathers, told us, God, at the end of the days, he will not count how many times I did fall, but how many times I stood up fast asking his help. That's why we pray God, in the day, you want us to depart. Let me be standing up. We pray for that moment. From now, we pray for that. So pray hard. If someone is always falling, always falling, always falling, there's nothing wrong in him or her. But maybe he's not using yet the right spiritual weapons God gave us, which is mentioned in Ephesians 6. And Satan, there's one Satan which is, his speciality is despair. To let you lose hope. There's no hope in me. Because I'm always repentant and fall. Don't worry. Take it a simple way. If somebody is repenting, then fall. The gracious God is opening his arms. Confess, repent, and he will cleanse you. And I assure you, he will never be tired of you. Like a mother. Do you think a mom her baby, which is always soiling himself or herself, and changes the diaper of him for him. One day she will say, no, that's enough. I cannot do it anymore. A mom, which is a human, God will never feel that's enough. But sometimes Satan will tell you, that's enough for you. There's no hope in you. No, remember that diaper. And Jesus loves to cleanse you and cleanse everybody. Go to him soiled, stinky, and tell him, I need to be cleansed. How many times he asked Peter to forgive his brother in a day? 
seven, 70 times a day which means his brother is committing a sin against Peter how many times a day yani unlimited time say 500 if Peter was asked to forgive someone 500 a day so how much how many times God is willing to forgive every, every day he would change you 500 diapers a day but still after he cleans you he will kiss you and hug you like a mom so happy by the clean baby who smells so nice don't worry about the times we fall but we have to be careful to stand up and ask his help okay the next question it's very difficult to imagine how and I, I don't want to keep talking about Satan but the, the original fall when you are in the presence of God and you're in a heaven you're a heavenly being how can you sin against God when sin did not exist in the first place so how was pride introduced in heaven when you're in the presence of God and how was Satan so powerful that a third of the heavenly hosts who are witnessing God would fall? How many of us who are now in the presence of God are doing the same? How many of us who are not in front of God, how many of us who God is living within us are doing the same? Millions and millions a day. How many of us rebel? How many of us, although He is living in us, and when we go to the altar and stand in the altar as if we are standing in heaven, as Agbe is saying to us, how many times we rebel, displease God, and feel that He's not there anymore? I can do better without Him. Especially if I'm intelligent, arrogant with my mind, if I'm strong, if I'm wealthy, I feel so what? I don't need God. Actually, all the command of God will make me in front of others look weak, look stupid sometimes. What that kind of fasting and worship again? What that kind of stupid worship on Good Friday and uh, Saturday and Thursday and Pascha week. I was that. Sometimes my mind will say that. It's exactly what Satan, Lucifer, he was, who was one of the cherubims because God gave them powers and they have tried to use it either negatively or positively. The more, the more we are focused on God, on Christ, even as an icon, or a crucifix like this, or make a sign of the cross every time, and wear crosses around your neck, the more we are so attached physically, spiritually, intimately with Christ, the more we'll be shielded against our ego. Is there anybody here, anybody, who has no ego? Bless him or her, but I assure you, no one, no one has got rid of his ego, which is the pride, which is the sin of Satan. So let us think of ourselves, not of Satan. <laughs> Is it time now to go and take rest? For me, I could continue with you, but uh, it could be a drive for some of you. And please, if anybody has a problem inside him, 
which he cannot get out of it. Especially in the area of unholiness or the faith. Please go and ask the closest one to you, either your servant or the father of confession. Because tomorrow they have a program to help you with. Okay, God bless you and pray for me. What did you We thank everyone here for coming today and all the servants uh, who came from all the churches.